Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are installing Windows 10. If I go to this website, so this is uh, the official website where you can get Windows 10 from. So if you go ahead, you can see it only says uh, Windows 10 update and just create Windows 10 installation media. But there is nothing, if you just get down here, there is nothing that says an ISO download. Well, it may not be obvious, but you do need to download this one. So right here, if you just click on this, so I'll just show you what it does. So after it is downloaded, just, I just click here and it will install. So there you go, as you can see, it's getting a few things ready. So you just have to wait for this and then uh, I'll walk you through after this is done loading. So there we go. Now we just accept this terms and condition. I don't know what is written here. It may There may be some ominous things, you know, we're talking about Microsoft here. I'm <laughs> leaking. Well, anyway, now after you hit next, it should get more things ready. So it is getting a few things ready again. And now here, uh, once you see this option, you just click on create installation media and then hit next. And then just you can use this use recommended option for PC. But if you want the 32 bit, you can select from here or both of them. So you can have the option to. Uh, switch between them if you want. So I'll use 64 bit because well that is most common architecture. So most PCs use 64 bit. So that shouldn't be much of an issue. And language and edition Windows 10 obviously. So I'll just click this and then hit next. And then here just click on ISO file. So this will give us our ISO file that we need. Now you can create a USB flash drive from here if you want. But I already have this ISO downloaded, so I downloaded it ahead of time because, well, you can see it's 4.6 gigabytes and my internet is not gonna cut it. So just click on ISO file and then hit next. And then let me just uh, get to desktop. And then just select the folder where you want to download it. So I already have this downloaded. Here you can see, then once you hit save, it will start downloading it in the drive that you selected so then I'll, I'll just close this because i have this downloaded yeah i want to quit so there we go so now uh, we just have to make a bootable usb so i showed this a million times how to uh, make a bootable usb you can just get on yeah, google and just search for rufus and it should give you this link right here, get the top link and then just download roof. It's a really lightweight software and I really like to use it. Mostly because how simple it is. And now you just have to select your pin drive. So hold up, let me connect my pin drive. Where is it? Okay, so I found my pin drive and if I just connect it, as you can see, it automatically gets detected. So it's a 32 gigabytes of pin drive. And you need at least 8 gigabytes, so just don't go less than that. Because if if you saw that just the ISO is 4.6 gigabytes, so you need at least 8 gigabytes in pen drive. Well, anyway, uh, after you get uh, click on this, then you just select the ISO. So we'll get to desktop, Windows 10, and then there we go. So now we have the ISO, and then Again, the partition scheme, you have to be really careful about this. So whatever your partition scheme is, you need to select it from here. Now, I can't emphasize this enough because if you get this wrong, your uh, PC or desktop or laptop cannot boot from the USB. So make sure you get this correct. So if you have an MBR partition or a GPT partition, just select whichever one you have. If you have a modern computer, it should be GPT, and if it's an older computer, it should be MBR. And there is a lot of tutorial on how to do that. I showed this before in the previous video, so I won't go into it too much. But then, what you have to do is just hit start. And another note is make sure you back up anything from your pen drive because it will be formatted and repartitioned. So if I just hit start, you can see th this. Window pops up for me because, well, I like have Windows 10 installed, and if you get this uh, window, then you can just create a local username or 
original but i won't do anything any of this because i just want a clean windows 10 install then if i hit ok then you should get this window so this is the window you should get it is all done on this device so it will be formatted and again make sure you have everything backed up from your pen drive then when after i hit ok then it should start to uh, make a bootable usb and while it's added make sure you hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you guys after this is done and there we go so now it is done so we can just close this and this and then we just have to boot into the usb so i'll see you guys after i do that so this is how it should look like after you boot into the usb then we just hit next and then install and then if you have a product key then just enter it here if you don't just click on this and then select which version of windows 10 would you like so i'll just go with the windows 10 pro why not and then just hit i accept next and then we'll go to custom install and then you should see your drives pop up here so you should have your uh, drive show up here so if you want to format the drive just click here if you want to delete the partition just click here and we for us we have the there is no partition so we just click new and then after i do that just select how much you want to allocate i would recommend just going with the full drive because it will partition automatically but if you want to have multiple partitions, so you want to have multiple drives, then you should see a separate tutorial on how to partition windows. So for this tutorial, I'll just show you how it, to actually install it. So after I do apply and then OK, then you can see there the windows automatically partitioned. So it just took the things that it needs. So then we just click on the drive that has the most space because you need at least 50 gigabytes of space. Yes, you had that right. You need 50 gigabytes of space to install Windows at least. So then we just hit next and it should start installing. So if you have an SSD, this should go by really fast. And if you have a slower hard drive, this will take longer. So it all depends on how fast your storage is. So I'll just wait here and get back to you after this is done and remember it uh, should reboot once or twice so don't panic if it does see you guys after this is done so after we are uh, booted into windows you should see a page like this then we'll just go with yes so you just have to select a region there then your keyboard layout it is really us and do i want to add a second keyboard no now i will just set up for personal use because i assume you are doing this for personal use then just hit next and then i'll just do offline accounts because if you want to use an online account so your microsoft account or well, your Microsoft account, there is no hole in it. So then you can just clock it on here and then hit next. But if you want to just use it offline, then just do offline account and you should just get a local user. And then here again, it will tell you to sign in. I do not want to sign in. What? <laughs> it says, or even better, use an online. I don't want to use an online account. So there we go. Now it has it name, and then if you want to use a password, just type it here. I'll just keep it black for now, and then just turn all of this off. Like I don't want any of this, and then just skip this. If you want to do any of this, it's totally up to you. But I personally don't like doing any of those. I should have declined that. Well, anyway, now it will just do its magic and set up and just put into windows i'll see you guys after this is done and there we go so 
it's done now it, windows 10 is installed and you can start installing it or wait for a bit and if you have internet connection it will get most of the necessary driver that you need and that's basically how you install windows 10 so i'll see you guys in the next in the next video and like comment and subscribe bye